Deadly crashes are trending down on Minnesota roads so far this year. But that does not mean public safety officials are stopping their quest to make our roads even safer. Saquon joins us live now with just got some new data this morning. Say uh, good morning. Hey, good morning to you. So let me start off by saying we are seeing less crashes this time uh, right now compared to this time last year. And while it might sound positive, you've got to keep in mind the number of crashes is still up since before the pandemic and nearly 300 people have already died so far on Minnesota roads. Think back to 2020. The number of crashes was low uh, because there were less people on the roads, right? Most people were working from home. Well, now not only is traffic just back to these pre pandemic levels, it's actually ahead of pre-pandemic levels and as more people started commuting again the number of deadly crashes skyrocketed mainly because of high risk driving behaviors like speeding distracted driving or driving under the influence and if we look at the numbers guys there were 394 traffic related deaths in 2020 and in 2021 there were 488 and right now that number sits at 288 with three months still left to go of the year and we're right in the area of about 40 fewer fatalities this time uh, right now it's compared to last year and we know summer a very popular time to be on the roads people heading up north taking advantage of the weather and these numbers from the Department of Public Safety really prove that but traffic safety officials say this transition period from summer to fall so right about now is actually when we see the most severe crashes because unlike the slick roads we drive on in the winter the roads in the fall are in pretty good condition and stats show drivers seem to really lean into that the one thing that affects crash outcomes more than anything is speed because speed is energy and energy is what causes injury and death and so when we have good clear open roads drivers tend to drive faster and so when you bring that much speed and that much energy into the, the collision the results are going to be that much more significant winter is a whole nother thing you know it's something we have absolutely no control over that's all mother nature and we do see a big increase in the number of crashes that take place in that november december january february into march but the thing is though while well, those crash numbers go up the severity goes down and goes down significantly um, and there's one reason for that because the speed goes down Minnesota drivers know when slippery season is upon us, you have to slow down, you have to give yourself more room, more time, and all of that. Director Hansen also says more crashes usually happen this time of year because we're getting used to what we haven't seen in the summertime, like reduced daylight and more people on the roads with everyone being back at school or work. Now, he also says no matter the road conditions, no matter the weather, there are four things Minnesota drivers can do to reduce their risk of getting involved in a crash. That's number one, always get buckled. Number two, don't drive distracted. Number three, don't drive under the influence. And of course, number four, always obey the speed limit. Obviously, Tom and Alex, some friendly reminders we can use all year round. Yeah, a lot of people up there are speeding. It's not good at all.